Yeah. What's up, y'all? This is your man, Robert Glasper, here representing DC Loves Dilla. Dilla means a lot to me. I actually got a chance to work with him in 1999 um, with Bilal for Bilal's very first record. Got a chance to hang with him for two weeks at his crib and watch him work in the basement, work with him, and just to see a genius at work is amazing. Um, you know, I'm a jazz piano player, and he hit me to so much music in the jazz world that I wasn't even aware of, you know what I'm saying? So that just shows you um, how expansive his mind is and how much studying he's done to become the great producer he was. You know, just having a million records and knowing where every record was and being able to tell you everything on that record. Um, I watched him make beats in front of my eyes. He already had the beat in his mind and I watched him relay it. You know, me and Bilal have this whole story of how Dilla would put on, he'll be like, hey, can you sing over this bass line? We'll play three notes on one record, get another record, play three notes, and get another record and play three notes, all from three different bass lines. We're like, could you sing over that? And we're like, what? <laughs> and he would be like, hold on, and put that joint together in like five minutes, and it'd just be like, oh my God, you know, what the hell is that? You know, so he's just, he's, he's definitely, I mean, the word genius be thrown around a lot, but he's definitely that, for sure. And was just a great person, you know what I mean? A great guy um, to be around and so influential. He's the only producer I know that literally changed the way cats play their instruments. You know, Dilla changed the way I play the piano. He changed the way drummers play their beats. You know what I mean? People are trying to copy him, not the other way around. You know, a lot of producers, especially hip hop producers try to copy, you know, the way certain musicians play or whatever, but Dilla had a way of, he had his own sound and people tried to copy that and tried to relate that to live band stuff. So he definitely was a big influence on me and my band and a lot of my peers, most of my peers. So he will be missed and always loved.